Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mills Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now, as I mentioned in a earlier video today, the Bloodhounds have now officially been released into Call of the Wild on all platforms, so make sure to go and check out the store for whatever platform you're on and go and get this DLC if you're interested. Now, I'm just going to quickly flick through some of the traits that you can get for the dogs. I know I've covered this in a previous video, but I just thought for any that, anyone that hasn't seen that, they might um, enjoy you know, enjoy seeing that, so I thought I'd just ping that up to start with. So this is going to be my first time using the tracking dog to actually track blood and also just my first hunt on the True Rack Black Box because, yep, that is something that has also been released today and a lot of people seem to not know about it, but it has been released and I think it kind of got sort of buried by the fact that, oh my god, dogs have come to Call of the Wild, which we have all been waiting for for so long, but True Rack Black Buck did get released today and I figured it would be pretty perfect to go and hunt True Rack Black Buck with the tracking dog. Now, I have to say that both the True Rack Black Buck and the tracking ability of this dog have both impressed me so much. Like the f like the distance that the dog can find blood and stuff at is actually really, really, really useful, and I'm really impressed. Like, it, go and get this DLC. It's so so worth it. And there's also been a couple of other little subtle changes that I've noticed. So. I think the guns sound perhaps a little bit different, I'm not sure, but it might just be me. But I did see someone else saying it, but they sound really, really good. And it could be that I just had my volume a bit louder or something as basic as that. But it just sounded a little different to me on some of the guns. And also, if you look up in the top right corner, where you have the spotting information for the animals, that has been made larger, like with the health percentage and that, which I found use I find really useful actually because I do wear glasses when gaming because I am short sighted, and having that little bit of an increased size makes it easier to spot for me. So I found that's really useful, and I think that anyone else that has maybe be not so great vision might also find that really helpful so really 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 pleased to see that and there's a couple of little bits and pieces that have come along with this update that I don't think are meant to like the waypoint has a black circle around it for some reason so I'm not sure why um, but the, the, the devs are aware of all of the little things that have come along with this update that maybe aren't so good like there's some delays like when you go to pet the dog and that they may like it's a bit delayed sometimes so slash like a bit not glitchy but slowly so yeah they know all about that i've looked through the bug reports because i was going to report the interface problem in the store with the dogs and actually selecting which dog you want to bring out but it looks like they're already fully aware of all of that Anyway, so taking a look at the first black buck with tree racks that I shot, it is a decent level 3, a nice little gold, and he's got a really wide rack. Like, that's really interesting to me to see such a wide set of horns on a black buck, and I really like it. There is no, unfortunately, no diamond black buck in this video, though I am going to be grinding very hard to try and get one over the next couple of days and just filming any interesting tree rack black buck that I come across, both on my own map and on multiplayer. So please keep an eye out for that if you're interested in the True Rat Black Buck. But I did find actually a couple of interesting things on my parquet map because of this. One of them is a level 3 teal that I must go and find where it actually is now to shoot because it did. I did actually spot it as it was flying off, so somewhere there's a level 3 teal on my map. So that's a diamond. Well, unless you get trolled by- I get trolled by a duck again because I had a mallard the other day that was 0.1 under the uh the requirement for diamonds so i couldn't really believe that when i shot a level three mallard and it was a troll um so as long as that doesn't do the same i should have a diamond teal and then at the end of this video when i was uh looking for black buck yesterday i had a little bit of a surprise run right out in front of me so that was really good but as i said having a look at the dogs and how well they track they just like to me he just goes straight to the kill like he knows where it is um, pretty really pretty easily and they do stand there and then they after a few seconds will bark as if to say hey I found it and I've noticed that if you if it goes um, too far away for you or like if you're too far behind that the dog will then bark to acknowledge hey you're too far behind me come and catch up 
and it's really nice that the dog has the spotting outline around it if you get any kind of distance away from it or if it goes through brush that is just so handy because it means you just don't lose sight of the dog now this is another little little level three that only made silver he wasn't quite gold but shorter horns, not quite as much of a spiral, sort of tighter, thinner spirals. But I think it looks really, really good. And I like that for a level 3 black buck. Like, it's not too big, not too small, and very realistic in the horns. I really love the detail they've put into the horns. I think they just look really, really good. I'm really pleased with, ev with everything in this update I'm just so thrilled with. And like I said, the dog has been actually really useful. I've had a couple of moments where I've been like, hmm, I'm not sure where the blood's going to be because I didn't waypoint it. And you can set the dog off not directly on blood and he will pick it up. You can be quite a few metres away, which I do believe I show in this video, and he will still pick the blood up. So if there's a tiny bit of blood and you're not seeing it, he should or she should be able to pick it up for you and really help out. So, yeah, that should really help if you're ever struggling with tracking, which I know there's a few people that do struggle with tracking. I don't normally have too much of a problem, but I can see this dog being extremely useful. And I am probably going to try and level up a couple of the dogs I bought today, because if you watched the previous video, you'll know that I bought all six coat variants just to show them off in a video. So I'm probably going to level at least a couple of them up, but definitely this one because he is my favourite. Um, I really, really like this dark colour, and also I've called him uh, Hubert after the original breed name for Bloodhounds, which was, a, a, if I'm remembering it correctly after doing some reading on them, is the Saint Hubert, was the original breed name for what then became Bloodhounds. I did some reading in the history of Bloodhounds because I find it really interesting. But here goes another different tree rack black buck. A bit wider again, not quite as straight and tall. I like the tall narrow racks more than the wide racks for the black buck. I don't know why, I just feel like on real life black buck that I've seen, they tend to be a bit more straight, but I that's like on the bigger ones, and so on a smaller one I'm not really bothered. So that that's uh, interesting anyway. But a lot of these bigger animals tend to have this straight tall rack, which is kind of nice. I kind of I like that. So uh, yeah. Overall, really, really pleased with what's in this update. And like I said, make sure to go and to check it out. If whatever platform you're on, it's it's a synchronized release. Every platform has got it now. It released earlier today, and it is. It was only like I think it was like two pound ten British on Steam. So it's really not going to be very much. So yeah, it's it's for what's in the update. It's not very much money, and I believe that the True Rat Black Buck were the update and the dog was the DLC. So if you can't get the dog, you will still have the True Rat Black Buck, if I'm re you know reading everything correctly. And yeah, it's really worth doing. Make sure you go and update your game, because I really like these True Rat Black Buck. I think the diamond ones are going to look fantastic. I've seen a couple of screenshots from the people that got the Creator Beta stuff over the weekend. Uh... And yeah, it was really, really, really cool looking at some of those black bugs. I think they looked really awesome. So that's why I'm going to try and get one really hard over the next couple of days. But here you go. So this is the kind of rack I like. And also the diamond requirement has changed now. Because it used to be just over 30 for black buck. Um, it's now 132.20. So they've added like over 100 points onto the black buck scoring itself so uh that's really interesting that they've changed the scoring up but then of course it makes sense with the true score you know having the true horns and i really like these tall thick ones because like if you look at the circumference between the, the first spiral and the second spiral it's pretty similar it doesn't lose too much between the circumference of the base and the first quarter circumference. And I really like that and obviously going narrower towards the top. But even in that specific black buck, even though the the both the horns were quite similar, you could see that one had more of a turnout than the other. Anyway, I am gonna stop rambling now and I will let you guys watch some more of the tree rock black buck hunting I did, because I ended up with quite a few level fours on my map that I wanted to take out and just watch working the dog and there is a particularly interesting track that i had with him on a puma where he did really really work quite hard to find it and i found it really interesting and then i will show off in the lodge the true rack versus a gold a nice gold 
um, legacy horns, black buck, and also the dog in the lodge, because in both lodges, both the Saseka Safari and the original lodge, you will have a bed for the dog and you will find your dog in the lodge waiting for you, which is really, really nice and just a very nice addition. So anyway, I'll jump back in towards the end to talk to you again, but in the meantime, I hope you enjoy watching these clips.
So, as I said towards the beginning of the video, I was tracking this gold black buck yesterday, which I unfortunately made a bit of a dodgy shot on. I kind of lost my breath at the last second, and I wanted to get him because he was the biggest gold I found on my map, and I just thought it would be a nice comparison to have for what would be the next day, and looking at the true racks. So I thought I'd try and get him, and he just was a pain. And then this ran out, right in front of my scope. So... I can't complain that the track that took far too long for that black buck, I'll be honest with you. I tracked it for an insane amount of time. I don't really know why. I probably could have got a cold black buck a lot easier than that. But I ended up with a diamond axis deer for the lodge. So can't complain. I'm really, really happy with how that ended up going. But anyway, like I said, I will now show off in the lodge the original uh, Legacy Horns black buck and the true rack black bucks that the sort of the good scores for the gold and the uh the, the previous legacy rack so you can see the difference between the two and yeah just the dogs in the lodge being adorable so yeah i hope you enjoy watching that and thank you very 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 much for watching this video and i really hope you've enjoyed it and hopefully there'll be more to come soon while i look for more good black buck thank you very much